Okay. So do you hey want guys. to show the main screen there? Yeah, I'll just introduce Neville there. Thank you very much, Neville, for coming back again for a second session. And um, you're in for a really tough session this time, guys. So Neville, you can take it away there and explain the session to the guys. Okay, folks, uh, welcome. So earlier on when I was talking about what we're going to try and look for in the pieces. If I was on the water, there's two types of measurement. Obviously you have your stroke coach, which is going to give you your, your speed, but the other is clearance. So, Try and visualize it, that you're looking for that really good clearance at 18. And then as we go up the rate, you effectively are trying to maintain it. It's going to be difficult. But it's about being efficient on the slide, strong in the water. But I also need you to be sensible in terms of each one of these pieces. It's not like a 30 stroke piece. We absolutely blast it. We're just gonna be looking for 75, maybe 80%. Hold something back. And in fact, I don't know about you guys, but I actually find rowing at 18, 19, I'm gonna go very hard. Machine has no feel. So you really have to think about it. So let's put our focus on our technique. To just hit those words. At the half slides. Just think about rowing with your legs. Drive with your hips. Your core is strong. And in fact, this is something that I only started to do again, probably about a month and a half ago. So despite being sitting on an ergo for about three months, I'm using it with my own bunch in our master's group. I was rowing with my shoulders, I was rowing with my upper body because I let all the strength go in, in the lower half. So rowing is something that we really have to think about that it, it's not about driving the shoulders and open up the body to be good, you got to use your legs. So if you're into cycling, running, big advantage. 
I, on the other hand, was doing nothing. So, big change. Okay. Just, just another minute and a half back to three quarter slides. Get the pivot off the hips. Hands out first, over the knees, pivot, slide. Hands, body, slide. It's easy. And actually on the way back, the drive with the legs, open the body up, and then you get the, the arms just bringing it in, hanging on to the finish. So don't overcomplicate. Hands, body, side. When you start to get tired, you'll hear me saying it. Okay, let's get a quick drink of water. All right. Neville, we had a few people joining late there while you were warming up, so you may just quickly run through the session again, will you? Yeah, if you don't mind. Very, very quickly. We've done the 10 minute walk. The session is gonna be seven times four minutes with a one minute rest in between each one. So when you're setting clocks, um, go to select workout, go to new workout and do intervals time. Uh, then we do four, three, four. And then we move it down to rest time and the rest time is gonna be one. And then we just hit set and we're ready to go. So the first one will be at a rate of 20, 18. Then uh, at three quarter pressure, 75 to 80% pressure. Then we have a minute's rest. Then the next one will be at 20, then 22, 24. And then we go back down the line again to 22, 20, and 18. We're really focusing on the drive. The leg drive is going to be the big thing here. Okay. Are we good? We've got the clock set. Ready to go, Derek? Yeah, already, Nev. Okay. All right, everyone. Nice <laughs> Enjoy, everyone, okay? Technique first, power second. All right. First four minutes, ready, go. Pushing with the legs. 18. So think about, am I getting my technique right? Drawing it in the right way. Now recovering. My arms straight out. Pivot and glide. A bit tough on the lungs. Just think about your technique. Thank you. 
That's it. Through your hips. Loose arms. Try and visualize you're out in the boat. Better than your living room or your kitchen. Just drive with the legs. Bend. Take the air in, sit tall. And light. Big breaths. Whew. I think Derek was right. <laughs> little sip of water. Get the air in. Did you feel now what your output is? The next one, 20 seconds. I'm just gonna go at 20. So don't think about the work. Please, please just think about the technique. We wanna make the boat run. Get ready. Change, 20. That's it. Loose hands. Feeling a bit better. Long as you used to it. Hands, body, slide. It's so simple. We forget it. So for the next 10 strokes, I want you to call it out in your head. Think about it.
hands body lunge. When it's just catch, fly. Twenty. Right. <clears throat> okay. Two down. As you probably found out that one, the lungs are opened a bit. If you're more focused on technique, the power will actually come. Into water. The next one is a 22. So again, get back to that visualization. We're out in the water, pacing along another boat. We're trying to be more efficient. Get ready, change. 22. Keep moving the hands. It's nice. Into a rhythm. Tip along. Split time is a little bit faster. You're driving. Don't forget the technique. Don't open up. Push with the hips. It's almost like a bum shove. Back in your head now. Follow the sequence. Hands, body, side.
You're feeling it on the legs as you're driving. Shoulders loose. The legs. Push. Push. Right. Well done. It's all in the legs. That's so we're feeling it. If you're doing the right. Next one now is 24. Top of the pyramid. And again, the focus. I'm repeating myself a lot here. It's going to be hands, body, glad. Then you just catch and drive. Keep the body over. Okay, let's get ready. Ready? Change, 24. Push with the legs. Then the hands. Halfway now, with your legs, 10 strokes.
Stay tall. Take in the air. The legs push. Look around. Light. Well done. Downhill from here. Feel it. The next one, the 22. So you're going to feel like you want to race it. Keep on the turn. Try and keep that, that power. Try and keep that split down. It's all in the legs. Get ready. Change. 22. Strong as you can. The only place you got to really think about controlling is your slide. But that only happens when your hands are over your knees, your body has rocked forward off the hips. All you have to do is glide forward. And catch and drive with your hips. That's it. Tough here now. Dig deep. Feeling good. That's it. Twenty two.
and switch your legs. Efficient. Just drive. Light. Whew. Okay. I don't know about you, but it's tough. It was well. We have to think the technique. <clears throat> Bit of music wasn't bad there. Distraction. Derek's music taste. Not mine. Limerick not FM, mine. <laughs> Limerick, Limerick FM. Here we go. 20. Get ready. Change. Legs. Make sure you get the race. Bang on. Those arms straight, hands loose, just finger grip on the handle. Push with the legs. I can feel myself opening my body a little bit early. So I need to get back to the leg drive first. If I'm getting tired, I revert to that technique. Get in your head. Legs. Hang out of it.
Lights. Okay. Last one. Whew. All right, A team. We're going to do our best. Okay. Keep that leg drive. <clears throat> Really psychological. So we have to keep this going. Last one. It'll all be worth it. Ready? Change. Eighteen. Legs. Okay, on the leg, change, keep the rate the same, just push, push. And again, keep the legs, get that split down by a second. Plenty of time to recover. Let's drive. Okay, coming up to the next minute. I want you to get another second on the split. Pass me with your legs, change. And there. Last minute, two seconds. Come on, wish you can do it. Ready? Change, legs. Eighteen strokes. Come on. Ten strokes.
Like, Woo. Well done, everyone. Woo. Keep moving. That's it. Stay moving. You standing up, sit back. <laughs> Only messing. <laughs> well done, everyone. You know, it was a good session. Some real power. Tough on the legs. You don't feel it as much in the arms. You're doing it right. And you can certainly feel the first one, the lungs were opened a bit. And then after that, we were into it. So well done. Another minute or so. session. I think what's handy about these kind of sessions, folks, is that when you have that screen in front of you, you can see yourself growing. You know, it's, it's like an instant feedback. So use it. Use your own screen. Try and visualize what you want to do in terms of a good session, technically. And try and do it. I could feel myself in one of those pieces where I was losing it technically. I was probably losing it more. It was really critical, but it allows me to get back in and think about what I should be doing. Back to the basics. If you start losing it on the power, so be it. It'll come in time. Really, really focus on trying to roll right. Okay. Let's get a drink. Whew. Neville, that was fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I well ask done. you a question? Can I ask you a question, please? Mm -hmm. I was watching a coaching video from that guy in the States, the big tall one. I can't remember his name. He's six foot eight. And he was saying that, yes, it's legs, 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 but the maximum power comes when you swing your body back. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. There's, 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 there's interesting, I suppose it all comes down to your body size. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there are the efficiencies of what you're trying to do. But when you do, when you think about when you come up to the catch, you want to just drop the blade in. So that's that gentle movement with your hands up. And then you're looking for the connection straight away. Once yeah. the blade is in the water, you drive, and then you're right, that, that style of really sitting back, which is really prevalent in, it was, it was very big in Canada, back in, uh, I think it was 92 Olympics. Uh, was that Barcelona? I think it was Barcelona. Um, yes, yes. And then the American crews have all that style where they really sit back. Mm -hmm. And that's really efficient on an ergometer, okay? Mm -hmm. And it does get power on an ergometer, but there's a, there's a bit of debate there in terms of, your arc when you're actually rowing, you know, what's the efficient length of an arc? And I think that's where maybe the difference between an ergometer score and a rowing score can come into it, if you know what I mean. But there's, there's merit in it, but it's all, I think it all comes down to the length of the arc, the efficient length of the arc from catch to finish. Right. It's gonna be key. Okay, and one little thing about the actual timing of the body swing. Um, yeah. It seems to me it comes at the end of the leg push or towards so, the, 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 yeah. Yeah, so if I look at, if you can see the screen there. Yeah. And here, so I'm driving and I don't know if you can see the angle. Let me just change this for a second. This might be better. So if you look at my cat, what I'm trying to do here, 
that's my catch, right? So maybe a little bit taller, but you can uh -huh. see it here. And then catch, uh -huh. the copper catch should be where you're just literally doing that. You catch, you drive. And then, then you swing, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so what, what we don't want to do is this. Yes, yes, yes. It does two yep. things. If I open up my body too early, the hands come up, the oar digs deep. Uh -huh. I'm over exaggerating here. Uh -huh. So efficient. Look how strong it is. My legs, the right angle. My body is over. Uh -huh. Not too compressed, not like no, this. No, no. Just like that. And then I, I drive all the spring and the power is here yes it's in the big driving, muscles big muscles yeah and i do sit back of course i sit back at the finish yes. but if i was rowing you know you need to think about the angles of the extract to the oar yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's different for sculling and different for sweep thanks for that okay thanks very Ooh. much neville that's brilliant um i know my internet is uh playing up me at the moment so can you hear me properly? Is that okay, Derek? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Apologies. My internet is playing up at the moment, Neville. Yeah. That was fantastic. I just, before my internet goes again, I just want to announce the spot prize winner this evening is Rowan Butler. So, Rowan, you did a fantastic job there, young lad. Uh, worked hard with you there for the whole session. So, guys, again, Goodbye, thank you very much. <laughs> he did all of them solid seven sets so fair play. fair play to everyone that uh did the full session there it was a good session again we have another tough session on thursday evening with nyla tool he's doing an interval session which should be really really tough as well so neville again thank you very much and hopefully we'll have you back in the next week or two yeah and again just one thing i would say about whatever you're doing on the ergometer you know don't get obsessed about your score think about the, the the technical stuff that we've talked about here if you start chasing numbers you can really let your technique fall apart i think all of the all of the other um people who, who are leading out the sessions and your coaches i'm sure will say the same thing the score will come with fitness and with time and 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 building up your your fitness you know your your, your capacity if you let your technique go it'll destroy you in a race so, and, and it'll kill you on the ergometer as well. You, you might get away with it to a point, but we're not racing ergometers. When we do get it back out to race, we want to roll. And we want to be really good at that. So again, I, I, I tend to repeat myself on it, but really think about that simple stuff, hands, body, slide. And, and in the middle of a race, believe me, when you're tanking along at 38 or 40, if you start thinking about that, it'll get you back into an efficient style keep you the way you should be going so uh that's my thought for the evening all no, right that's, folks that's very good neville and what we might do is if, with that feedback there over the last few minutes if people if there's enough engagement we could actually do a, a session a zoom session with questions and answers and technique on the machine and with yourself and niall and maybe kenny a few lads like that it could be a good yeah good session for especially no for the younger ones yeah okay thanks guys if you can't and okay, they're not take so care, young buddy. derek Sorry, Chris, say that again. And the not so young. And the not so young as well. <laughs> People coming back after short breaks of 28 years. Yeah, young at heart. Young at well, heart. I don't even know about that now. Not young at body tonight, I need a rest after that. That was great. Well, Thanks, John. Well done, guys. Appreciate Take care, it. everyone. Thanks a million. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Eric.